Now, this is a fun one. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, UL Monroe heads to Troy, Alabama, Veterans Memorial Stadium there. Troy is a 15.5-point home favorite. The total sits at 48. Louisiana Monroe won this game last year 29-16, to and Troy was a three-touchdown favorite in that ballgame. Louisiana Monroe is 5-2 and two straight up in their last seven against Troy. They are 4-3 and three against the spread since 2010. That is mind-blowing to me when I look at these two teams. Uh, but you don't have to look that far back to remember that Louisiana Monroe was not a bad football team not that long ago. Uh, Parker, we're going to start with you on this. Of course, uh, Louisiana Monroe, 3-7 and seven straight up, 7-3 and three against the spread as a 10-plus point dog. They did it just last week. They were a 13-and-a-half-point underdog at Georgia State, won the game outright. Uh, this team has done it multiple times. As I said, they beat Troy last year. Uh, this Jalen Rogers is doing some things with this Louisiana Monroe offense. Number 46 PPA per pass on offense the last five weeks. Uh, the defense is bad, but let's not go crazy. Troy's offense is, is number 89 in PPA per drive over the last five weeks. It's not like the offense is super explosive for John Summerall and Bunch. That Troy defense, though, is absolutely legit. What, what do you see in this matchup? One, I need to point out that um, I, I don't know if you saw, Gary, the uh, graphic that ULM tweeted about uh, the Bowden family reaching 650 wins, but it's hilarious and remind me to send it to you and all of you should go look at it um, because they did uh, they did Tommy very bad. But Terry Bowden hit 183 <laughs> wins at, at uh, ULM. That's very fun. Um, or overall, I guess, in his career. Um, this is one of those games that like, I'd be tempted to call like a Sickos game, but is actually going to be kind of fun. And so I'm interested to see how these teams will match up. I think that Troy is um, really, really good on defense this year. I think this defense is is uh, going to go up against the strength of, of Louisiana Monroe. Louisiana Monroe, 60th in offensive EPA per play, unadjusted. Troy, 43rd. Um, so that'll be a best-on-best best scenario. Uh, ULM's actually very balanced, which I, I'm interested to see because Troy has been much better against the pass than the run. They're 37th in EPA per pass, 77th in EPA per rush. And ULM on the flip side, 48th in EPA per pass, 73rd in EPA per rush. So kind of a nice kind of puzzle, puzzle pieces here. Um, one stat to circle if you're if you're worried about Troy with this big of a spread here. Um, they're 111th on third and fourth down success allowed. Louisiana Monroe's 35th. And so that could match up really well for them to take advantage and extend drives and maybe keep this slow enough um, and keep the total low enough for this game to um, pan out in, in, in Louisiana Monroe's favor. Um, on the other hand, um, Troy really has not been great rushing the ball. Uh, Gary, I think you just said that they're, they're 50 or sorry, 45th in rush rate over expected. But if you look at their passing, um, they're 83rd in offensive success rate on passing 64th in EPA per pass. So, if, if ULM can just make a tackle here and there and say, hey, we're not going to give you the big explosive touchdown. We're going to make you successfully string together plays. Troy's 100th in offensive success rate. I think that they could get derailed pretty easily there. Um, I see no reason why ULM shouldn't, shouldn't be within two scores here, maybe even single digits. Um, I don't love betting my money on ULM, but if I had to pick a side here, I would, I would ride with them to cover this. That is the way that I am leaning on this one. Uh, I'm pulling it up right now because I didn't put it on my notes. Uh, that's the one thing about Troy is they they don't get margin on a lot of teams. They won over Army by one. They beat Louisiana Lafayette by six, South Alabama by four, Texas State by three. They did beat Southern Miss by 17, but, uh, but that had to do with some turnovers, et cetera. Western Kentucky by seven, Marshall by nine, lost to App State by four. Yeah, this team does not get margin. And as we have talked about on this show multiple times, uh, LTLM, low total, low margin. Like, you're not going to get as much margin when the total is sitting at 48 on this. Kyle, uh, let's move over to you. I mean, the fundamentals on this one, uh, giveaways per game, Troy's number 70, Louisiana Monroe's number 70. Penalties per game, that's where Troy might have an edge, number 21 against ULM, number 127. Uh, no, excuse me, 120. <laughs> Number 27. I read my stupid note wrong. 21 and 27. So not much of an advantage there. Uh, both of them play slow. Number 96 and number 105 in plays per game on offense. Uh, teams have moved the ball on Troy while that defense is really good. And their numbers, you know, number 34 PPA per pass. Uh, the numbers for the pass defense are good. And passing is really how they've moved the ball. And with Chandler Rogers here, I I lean this way. Like, I, I'll go on and make it official for me. I'm going to take Troy, or excuse me, uh, Louisiana Monroe plus the 15 and a half here. 
uh, because I don't trust Troy to get the margin. But Kyle, what, what do you see with this one? Dan Gary kind of took my first first talking point was the fact that six of Troy's seven wins against FBS teams have been by nine points or less. So you're you're counting on if you bet Troy, you're counting on them to do something that they haven't done except for against Southern Miss. And that was really Southern Miss could get out of their own way. Um, Troy's definitely the better team. Nobody's going to say that uh, they're not. The defensive line gets in the backfield quite a bit. I think they probably will give uh, ULM, ULM's offensive line line some trouble here in this one but they say the point spreads the great equalizer and 14 and a half 15 and a half points you're over uh two touchdowns with the total in the 40s uh you guys know how i feel about that how about some terrible fumble luck for ul monroe they forced 13 fumbles and they've recovered two of them we know that this is not a basketball it doesn't bounce nicely but the fact that you uh, can force 13 fumbles and only get two of them you've had some pretty bad luck on defense so uh troy's Bad offense, really good defense. We know that. Troy, 124th in yards per carry on the season, 2.94. Um, although Troy has been trying to run the ball a lot. I don't know if that's just because they've been in the lead and trying to salt away the game at the end, but 56% of their plays in conference have been running plays. I'm kind of surprised they're running it that much when they're not having success. ULM's defense is 111th in pass, pass play success rate allowed. So, We'll see if Troy does throw it a little bit more here in this game. Troy, uh, 15 touchdowns and 34 trips into the red zone. So they're not efficient when they do get into the red zone, settle for a lot of field goals, or even turn the ball over. Um, Monroe, kind of sneaky competitive team. I mean, they're plus 0.17 yards per play margin in the Sun Belt, a well-coached team. Um, Monroe plus the points would definitely be my lean here. There's quite a few points. I, yeah. I'm going to make it official for myself. Louisiana Monroe plus the 15 and a half here. Kyle, I mean, you you hit on all of it. Uh, low, you know, low number of plays. Uh, Troy doesn't get margin on anybody. Like, yeah, uh, while this game is important for Troy for the Sun Belt, uh, which you and I still holding that ticket, hoping either South Alabama loses or Troy just wins out. Uh, yeah, I, I like Troy to win. I like Louisiana Monroe to keep this thing close. I like Raphael's comment on here. He said, my grandma can score on ULM. <laughs> that is that is fantastic. <laughs> and it's not wrong. It's not wrong, by the way. Uh, but I, I just don't know that Troy can score on many people's grandmas. So uh, don't take that out of context. Let's just, let's get, let's get serious here. 